Hola amigos! Are you looking for a way to practice even more Spanish and improve your Spanish fluency? Well, we're so excited to announce that Eat Your Spanish is now offering virtual Spanish lessons. Our virtual lessons are given by one of our amazing Eat Your Spanish teachers and are available to children of all ages and adults. Lessons can be one-on-one, -on -one, with siblings, or even with family friends. Members of our virtual lesson program will also receive free downloads of every song and activity for each episode of the podcast, as well as an invitation to join Evan and me for our monthly Eat Your Spanish virtual get-together, where we sing, tell stories, talk, and hang out all together. If you're interested in finding out more information or signing up, you can write us at evananvanessa at gmail.com or visit us at www.eatyourspanish.com and send us a message. We hope to hear from you soon. Now on with the show. Hey friends, thanks for listening to Eat Your Spanish. If you want to support our podcast, you can do so by subscribing to the show and leaving a positive review on your podcast app. You can also support us on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish, where you can get exciting bonus content such as songs, stickers, and more for as little as $2 a month. Thanks for listening. Now on with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. Estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu. Es Spanish to play. Everybody sing. Eat your Spanish. Eat your Spanish. Eat your Spanish with us today. Did you say spinach? No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your Spanish. With Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos. Hello, friends. Me llamo Evan. My name's Evan. Y yo me llamo Vanessa. And my name's Vanessa. Welcome back to Eat Your Spanish. We're so excited to be sharing songs, stories, and Spanish with you today. That's right. So, Vanessa, what do we have on the Eat Your Spanish menu today? Good question, Evan. Today, we'll be learning about some of my favorite things in the whole world. In fact, these little healthy treats are something that brings everyone in the world together. Today, we will learn the Spanish names for some of our favorite vegetables, or vegetales. Wow, that's so funny, Vanessa, because I'm actually eating a vegetable right now. <laughs> we can't eat while we're recording. Ew. <laughs> You're chewing right into the microphone. I don't think our listeners really want to hear your chewing mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. There we go. All done. You know, Vanessa, I was wondering, do you think vegetales grow on every continent in the whole world? Hmm. That's a really interesting thought, Ev. I think vegetales probably grow on all of the continents except maybe not Antarctica since it's pretty cold there. Oh yeah, good point. Hmm, I wonder if any snow vegetables exist. Maybe we have some penguin amigos listening who can call into the show and answer that question for us. <gasps> that would be so awesome! Hear that, penguin amigos? We can't wait to hear from you. In the meantime, let's get on with the show. Once we learn the Spanish names of all of our vegetales, we'll use them to sing a special song together, and then after that, we might even get to visit our good friends Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Yay! They love vegetables too, so it'll be exciting to see what they're up to today. Are you all ready to have some fun, amigos? Here we go. Spanish lesson time! So, Vanessa, which vegetales will we be learning about today? Today, we'll be learning the words for carrot, potato, tomato, and broccoli. Wow, 
amigos. One of you listeners out there set off the alarm. That means someone out there listening has sent in a question that matches one of the Spanish words in today's episode. Let's check the printout. Hmm, it looks like our amiga Cora guessed one of today's words. Let's have a listen. Hi, my name is Cora. I, I'm seven years old and I live in Georgia. And how do you say broccoli in Spanish? Adios! Hola, Cora! And congratulations on setting off the alarm! Today's episode will be extra special for you since you'll get to hear us use the word broccoli in Spanish lots of times. Yeah, great question, Cora. And actually, something that's even more exciting is that broccoli is a cognate. Do you all remember what that means? It means it sounds almost the same in both English and Spanish. That's right! Soon we'll practice saying it all together, but first, we'll start with the word for carrot, or zanahoria. So repeat after me, amigos. Zanahoria. 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 Great work! Now for the word potato, which in Spanish is papa. So repeat after me. Papa. 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 Excelente, amigos! And that word is funny because it sounds almost like the word for dad in Spanish, which is papa. So interesting. All right, amigos, dos down, dos to go. So now for tomato or tomate in Spanish. Repeat after me, amigos. Tomate. 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 Muy bien! And now for our last vegetal, we have Cora's special question, broccoli. Cognate alert! <laughs> this one is so, so similar in Spanish as it is in English. To say broccoli in Spanish, we say brocoli. So repeat after me one last time, amigos. Brocoli. Broccoli. Brocoli. Broccoli. Excelente, amigos! Yeah, great work, friends. Now that we've got our Spanish words already, it's music time! Yay! I love to sing Spanish songs with you, amigos! We hope you've got your singing voices ready! Spanish song time! All right, amigos, you've done great work practicing our new words. Now it's time to sing them together in a tasty vegetable song. Mmm, yum! I can't wait! In this song, we're going to teach you a full sentence in Spanish. But first, we'll sing a part in English that sounds like this. Oh, I love to eat, to eat. Mis vegetales, mis vegetales. Do you want to try and sing that part with me? Let's try on the count of cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh, I love to eat, to eat. Mis vegetales, mis vegetales. Muy bien, amigos. Now comes our Spanish phrase. In Spanish, the way you say I love to eat my vegetables is Me gusta comer mis vegetales. Can you repeat it after me? Me gusta comer mis vegetales. Me gusta comer mis vegetales. All right, and now when I sing that sentence, it sounds like this. Me gusta comer, comer, mis vegetales, mis vegetales. You want to practice singing it with me, amigos? Okay, here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Me gusta comer, comer. Mis vegetales, mis vegetales. Muy bien, amigos. That was great singing. Yeah, way to go. The rest of the parts in the song tell a story of someone going from place to place, meeting amigos and familia, and eating vegetables all along the way. It's not a call and response like some of our other songs, but if you listen to the words closely the first time, then maybe the next time you'll be able to sing along with us. There's one more thing to know about this song. I don't want to give it away, but I'll just say this. 
you might want to warm up those chompers. All right, amigos, are you ready? Here we go. That was excelente! I love singing with you all, amigos. Although, with all that singing, I'm feeling a little hungry. Hmm, maybe just one of these won't hurt. Mmm, zanahoria. Ew, Evan, you're chewing into the microphone again. Oops, sorry. Well, amigos, I think Evan and I are gonna head into La Cocina so he can finish his snack. But don't worry, we're gonna leave you all with a couple of our really good friends. Hasta pronto. See you soon. Well, I've got a couple friends, and don't you know? If I told you who they were, well, you might say, Aw, he's as tiny as a flower. She's as giant as a house. Yes, it's Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse, I'm so excited for today. I can't wait to make this sopa de vegetales or vegetable soup with you. You know, this is my abuelita's recipe, and in her day, she was known as one of the best elephant chefs in all of Africa. Wow, that sounds great, Mrs. E. But I don't know, I'm feeling kind of lazy. 
Why don't we just munch on some garbage instead? It's so much faster. Ew, Mr. Mouse, we have got to get you out of that nasty little habit. I mean, your breath alone is enough to make even an alligator cry. Plus, nothing makes the body and soul feel better than fresh home-cooked food. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so how can I help? Oh, that's so sweet of you to ask me, Corazon. You want to help me chop the vegetales? Here, I've actually got your little vegetable chopping station all ready to go. Wow, where did you find such a perfect little knife and cutting board? Well, Mr. Mouse, funny you should ask. I was just minding my own business, walking home from the park, and what do you know, it's junk day in our neighborhood. I could not believe the things people just toss in the trash. I gotta admit, Mr. Mouse, I think I finally understand your affinity for dumpster diving. I found all sorts of cute appliances for La Cocina, for your little kitchen, and even more really cute outfits for you in an old dollhouse, and someone was just throwing all of it away. Don't worry, I soaked it all in vinegar and essential oils, so it's nice and sanitized for you. Wow, Mrs. Elephant, it's a dream come true. Now that we share a passion for garbage, we can go out together and dive in all those nice, ripe, stinky cans. Mm. Oh, Mr. Mouse. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Well, I don't know about all that, but I sure did have an extra little spring in my step walking home with all this free stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. That's what I've been telling you about, Mrs. Elephant. Thanks for always thinking of me, by the way. Oh, well, I wouldn't have it any other way, buddy. All right, amigo, it's time to make some soup. Would you like to chop the zanahorias first, or maybe the onion? I think those are called ceboyas in Spanish. Hmm, maybe I'll chop the zanahorias, but do you have any baby zanahorias? I'm a little too small for regular sized carrots. Oh, good point, Mr. Mouse. Yeah, I think I've got some right here. Hold on, let me just... There's some. Yeah, you can chop the babies on Oreos, and I'll chop the papas or the potatoes, since all the papas are quite a bit bigger than you, buddy. Sounds good, Mrs. Elephant. <laughs> all right, great work, amigo. So now I've just got to run and grab a can of tomates or tomatoes. Do you mind pushing all the cut zana orias and papas into the pot? It's just right there below your cutting board. Sure thing! Come on, Mr. Mouse. You can do this. Uno, dos, tres! <laughs> Alright, zana orias and the papas are in the pot. Whew, that was hard work. Oh wow, great work, amigo! Now here's a big old can of Italian tomatoes, but they're a little too chunky. Do you think you could hop in there, Mr. Mouse, and then stomp them down a little for me? Ooh, fun! Watch out, tomatoes. You're no match for the fast stomping P.S. of Mr. Mouse. Wow, this is great, Mrs. Elephant! Look at me! I'm a professional chef! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> well, you took to that just like a duck to water, didn't you? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Silly little guy. I just love him to pieces. <laughs> Phew. Phew. All right, Mrs. Elfin, those tomatoes look pretty pulverized. Oh, wait, I missed one. Not today, little tomate. Right on the nose. I think all that's left is the broccoli, and then we can put a lid on and let it all simmer into yummy, soupy goodness. Mm. I'm on top of it, Iron Chef Mouse. Wow, look at her go. That's amazing, Mrs. Elephant. Thanks, Mr. Mouse. I watch a lot of cooking shows, especially diners, drive-ins, and dives, so I have a lot of behind-the-scenes experience. They all look pretty well chopped. I think that should do it. Now into the broth it goes. And now we just let it simmer for about an hour and then we can taste our yummy homemade creation. I just can't wait. Yay, I'm so excited. What should we do while we're waiting? Hmm, good question. Maybe we can listen to a podcast together. 
You know, my nephew told me about this one that he really loves. I think it's called Eat Your Spanish or something like that. Oh, cool. Let's have a listen. Hello, friends. Hmm, you know what, Mr. Mouse? This show just seems awfully familiar. Quiet, Mrs. Elephant. I'm listening. Oh, okay, honey. Sorry to interrupt. Mmm, sopa de vegetales sure does sound tasty. It's so nice that Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse spend time making food together. Oh yeah, it really is. Mmm, now I'm hungry. Zanahorias, papas, tomates, and broccoli are some of my favorite foods. Me too. Hey, do you want to make some vegetable soup for dinner tonight? Sure, as long as you promise not to use your pies or feet to smash up the tomates. <laughs> ah, okay, I won't. Well, that sound means it's time for us to say goodbye. We had so much fun learning all about vegetales with you today. We learned that carrot is zanahoria, papa is potato, tomate is tomato, and broccoli is broccoli. Then we got to sing our fun vegetales song together. You all have such beautiful voices, and it really makes us so happy to know that you all are singing along with us. And let's not forget about our amigos Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse in their tasty sopa de vegetales. Mwah! Delicioso! <laughs> I guess all that's left now is to sing the goodbye song together. We hope you'll sing along with us. amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.